Okay, I would like to chat with you guys a bit about Warframe 1999. Now, in the dev recap, I pointed out that we got some information on Warframe 1999. Well, I would like to actually explore that more. If you want to check out that video, feel free to, but this is going to be sort of its own thing. Arthur. We found out Arthur is his own character. For those of you guys that don't know, Arthur is the Excalibur looking character that we see. But he's not Excalibur. He's his own character. He's not Hayden Tenno from Dark Sector. He's not Excalibur. Excalibur, he is just his own character. We also have a mag type character, but she's also her own character. And they are called proto frames, according to digital extremes. Yeah, they are called proto frames. That's what we know for sure. But I'd like to speculate a little bit more, if you will. Okay, so, they're their own frames, presumable, I mean, they're the, yeah, proto frames, they're their own frames, own characters, presumably they're human from the look of it, and I don't really know much else, but I'm curious, because we can't, you transference on humans, can we? I mean, that's not something the good guys would do, but I'm not convinced entirely that we're the good guys to begin with, but that's neither here nor there, I suppose. But yeah, I'd like to know you guys' thoughts on that situation because it just seems crazy and also that this opened us up to proto frames for every frame like we're talking proto frames for wisp proto frames for anaros proto frames for let me know in the comment section below what frames you would like to see proto frames uh, meaning that there'll be frames, but there'll be humans inside instead of naturally being warframes we can need a transference to get to. And I'm not sure how that's going to work because does that mean we are done with Operator Drifter era? I mean, when Warframe 1999 comes out, does that mean it's an end of an era? Like, you know, you will be able to choose to not have Operator Drifter in the mission with you? Or maybe we can finally get that Operator Only or Drifter Only mode that I've been wanting for a while? Let me know your thoughts. I know, I know that some of you out there who would be more than happy to, you know, continue on Warframe without the Operator or Drifter. I know some of you guys are not the biggest fan of the Operator Drifter gameplay in general. So, yeah. But the fact is, whether you like the Operator Drifter, don't like the Operator Drifter, the fact is we do get a buff, you know, going into the game. Even if we barely use Operator or Drifter mode, we still technically get a buff, you know, doing that. And it would be going from buff to no buff unless the Proto Frames have some kind of weird passives. Also, Proto frames, do you think we'll get to play them in the main game of Warframe ever? Or do you think they'll be like strictly to the area of 
1999. And uh, area of 1999, would that be a new mission type? Will it be a new thing like, you know, how technically in the arsenal you can customize your um, arc wings and necromax on one page, you can customize your conclave character on another page, and then you'll have the main page for your warframe. Will they just add protoframes to that section? Like there'd just be another tab to customize which protoframe you want for Warframe 1999? I'm actually very interested how they are going to go about this. I'm sure we are going to have lots of Warframe 1999 discussions, okay? Because I'm sure they're going to be talking about it more at TennoCon. Actually, they said literally that they're talking about it more at TennoCon. Actually, you know what? I will go ahead and show you guys TennoCon related stuff. TennoCon 2024. This backpack and whatnot you see, this is what we are getting. This is the skin. This is the skin we're getting. I'll be honest, I do not hate the backpack. I'm going to probably have some trouble customizing it. I hope it's in... I think they said it's a signed honor, which is unfortunate. I wish it was an infirmary. I only wish it was an infirmary because that means we could put it on the drifter. But it is what it is. It still looks pretty cool. I suppose it does look pretty cool. And we also found out how much, because this is going to be something you can get ready. This is going to be for the digital pack. So if you get a physical pack, you also get the digital contents. But we ought to know how much it's going to be. This is in Canadian prices, apparently. So, let's see, general mission. I assume that's how much the digital pack is as well. I could be wrong, don't quote me on that. So these are all the prices. So whichever ticket you buy, you should get a Tenocon digital pack as well. And we'll be going over the digital pack in the future as well. I just wanted to tag this at the end here to let you guys know why we were talking about it. But yeah, let me know comment section below. Are you hyped for Warframe 1999? Are you hyped for Proto Frames? Are you worried about the future of Warframe still? Let me know your thoughts, comment section below. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the future. Later.